Oh my goodness. <clears throat> and as you can tell, I can't even speak. My brain is... I can't even think right now. So... Oh! Meet my friend, R2D2. Yay! I'm gonna make this like more of a, a like a reaction because I need processing. I'm I'm definitely gonna see this again over the weekend, and and then I'm actually gonna do just a spoiler, like a spoiler filled review where I'm gonna talk about everything because honestly, this film is oh. The information and the the story that it throws at you, the amount of stuff that happens. Mm hmm And I was thinking that when the movie started, it just it started in a way like sorry, my everything is hurting. Jeez, it's just my brain, my body. Yeah, that's what this movie did to me. It was a lot. I can't even process the amount of information this movie throws at you. I, I, I heard, I heard that this movie was a lot, but now after watching it, there is, you don't have time to breathe. It has so many if you want to call it strings and plot points things ha it has to close from the previous movies and it introduces like new things and it's like by the end of it it is going the movie is really going at you at like 200 miles an hour it's it's coming at you that you don't have time to clap or you don't have the time to process and it's weird because a Star Wars movie I, it happened with me with the last Jedi when I watched that movie it was like okay I think I need a night but the next morning I woke up say like, okay I know my rating I know what I need to give it and that's that this I really need to watch it again so I wanted to do like a quick reaction to what I thought of the movie and so I know a lot of the people that I know you you all haven't watched it yet it's one thing I can really say about this it's it's definitely a spectacle they get that right it is a spectacle there are scenes some of the scenes in the movie is it's jaw dropping so if you're all thinking and you know some family time you all want to go and watch and it's definitely worth that but as far as the, the movie itself and the lore and the things they explore in the movie and the ideas of uh, things they have to kind of come to con they have to make some kind of a conclusion because if any of you follow the Star Wars uh, movies, and if you follow, if you have been following them for the last few years, you know, since The Force Awakens, and you know about all the hoopla between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, they also have to address all of that. And then they also have to make a movie on its own. Then it also has the end of the and a trilogy then it also has to end a saga then it also is trying to please so many fans yes th this is this movie this is these are all the things it's trying to do it's not just trying to be a sequel it's trying to do everything and I do feel like the movie should have been longer a it, it's it's long enough because of the amount of information that comes at you, like a two hour 22 mo minute movie is usually I don't think they're that long. It's a 
if you have a good movie on your hands, that's actually perfect. A perfect time for a movie to run. And but this this one really felt felt it. And I don't know if it felt in a bad way or a good way. And I'm definitely gonna watch it either tomorrow night or on uh, on Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Like we we have the whole weekend here, so I don't know what time zone you guys are in. Uh, but it's either going to be over the weekend or Friday night, but I, I think I probably will need like a day just to process what I've watched already and then actually go into the weekend, maybe Saturday or Sunday and watch it again and just kind of take what this movie has to give. It does a lot of things right from what, how much of, actually I've processed I do think there's a lot of things right um, as far as the things that are wrong I don't know if there are things that are wrong really in the bigger scheme of things you know in the Star Wars universe and and all I'm gonna say it's not a bad movie it's definitely not a bad movie at the same time I'm not going to rate it so there's that so I just wanted to put this up put put up something I just had to say something my brain hurts and some of you probably saw my post that I put uh, made, made like a small three second reaction video that's what my brain and body is like right now it's like dude stop stop uh, we have we had enough of information just stop so I just had to say something. I had to just get it out. This is one of the most... <sighs> extensively filled with plot Star Wars movie that I've ever seen. It, it definitely will go down... I mean, people thought the Last Jedi was decisive. Oh, I think this is will this will be a movie that will definitely go down in history as the most decisive Star Wars movie ever. It because because of how many things it has to do and how many plot points it has to close and uh, how many characters it has to juggle. I oh, there was. Not one scene where you can just relax and there's, you know, some downtime to give characters some rest and it lets the viewer at least have a breather. It does not. It's definitely a movie of its own and it's trying to do a lot. So, but I'm, yeah, so I'm going to say go watch it. Uh, no, at the least... Well, you'll you'll definitely enjoy it. If you don't worry, if you don't worry about all of that Star Wars stuff, you want to have watch just a Star Wars movie as a casual viewer, you're definitely gonna have a good time. It it does that right. As I said, the spectacle is definitely there. So yeah. So over the weekend, watch out for my full review. I'm just gonna do a full full on spoiler review because I I at least for me, I don't think how you can talk about this movie without actually really talking about it because everything about it if you say anything it literally is spoiler fill uh you will just spoil the whole damn thing so yeah watch out for that and r2d2 here says i'll see y'all later